Hey guys, Christy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a video on my lip fillers. I had these done back in June for the first time and I'm just getting them redone now. It is currently the 15th of November. So they lasted me about five months and they have started to go down and I just wanted to go and get them topped up again. So I thought I would take you through the journey with me. I go to the same guy to get my Botox done and he did my lip fillers the last time and I'm going to him again this time. I got one mil of filler last time I went and I'm getting one mil again. I do currently have just a little bit left um, right on my top lip here, but it has gone down quite significantly. So I'm going to try to find a picture of me before I ever had any lip filler, then I'll show you a before picture now. I do get Juvederm Volift that, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I was recommended that product because it gives you a smoother appearance and, and apparently it's sort of like a finer um, consistency, so it is um, smoother. So it is slightly more expensive, but worth the price in terms of getting the optimal look. So as I said, I get one mil of filler and it costs me 240 pounds. Um, you can, you know, get it more expensive, cheaper. I think that's sort of a good price. Um, and especially for he does a good job. Um, my friends also had it done and she's really happy with the results as well. I've actually paid extra this time and the 240 pounds actually includes dental injections to numb uh, my mouth so that I don't feel the injections whatsoever. When I did have them done last time, they were painful. Um, I kind of thought it would be similar to Botox in that it's a bit uncomfortable and there's quite a bit of, you know, just pressure where he injects the needle, but it isn't, it doesn't feel invasive. You can't overly feel like the needle going in and, you know, the Botox coming out of the needle. But I think with the lip filler, it definitely was very different than my Botox. It was painful going in and then whenever he was putting the filler in, it was painful too. And because um, his technique is to go around the lips and just inject quite often and put a small amount around the lips rather than just go into one area and bung it full of filler, go into another area, bung it full of filler. He likes to do little bits of filler all around. So it did make it painful. And I try whenever I'm having an injection or having my blood taken to defer the pain. So I'll kind of like nip myself and, um, you know, try to concentrate on that pain rather than the pain that I can't really control which is the needle going in but honestly my arms wrecked afterwards I was like nipping and nipping and nipping and I just said to myself next time I'm just going to pay extra it's it's 50 pounds extra for me to um, get the de dental injections done and just sort of not be scared <laughs> to go in and get it next time it's definitely like you can cope with the pain like my friend had it done and she was fine with it and she probably won't get the dental injections done herself i just am choosing to do that um he did put a numbing cream on which um did help and i found that my lower lip because it had the numbing cream on for longer it wasn't as sore because he did start with my top lip and then by the time he got to my bottom lip it had had the numbing cream on for quite a while so um the numbing cream definitely helps people usually find according to the gentleman who does mine they usually find the lower lip to be sore but i find it the other way around i find um my top lip to be sore i will go ahead and i will just give you a really good close-up of my lips this is me basically like very very little filler in there i will point out where the filler is um i don't have anything on my lips other than a little bit of lip balm it is the tarte um like quench lip balm it's my favorite i do have a video um reviewing that product and i'll link it down below but um that's all i have on my lips and i'll just go ahead and give you the close-up so here is a close-up of my lips um you can see that it is just a wee bit pronounced right here. This is where the filler is um, remaining. It has mainly gone from my bottom lip, but it has just remained a little bit in my top lip. I did have more filler actually put into my top lip, but here is a good close shot of them. One thing I definitely noticed whenever I had my lips done was that because it pushed my lip up a bit more, the hair on my um, lip right here sort of stood upwards a bit more. So I have to make sure that I like bleach it every so often because it kind of makes it more prominent. So I did bleach it for you guys. One thing I'd say about the filler that's kind of a, a good perk that 
you know, people don't really mention is that because it's hyaluronic acid that people are getting injected into their lips, it actually makes your lips a lot softer and more hydrated. Hyaluronic acid actually draws water into the area. So um, I've noticed that just after I had it done, my lips were really, really plump. And, you know, I was using my, um, you know, my tart lip balm, uh, which helps a lot, but my, my lips were just so sort of soft and like, um, really, really hydrated and I thought, wow, this is great. And I've continued to use my same lip balm the whole way through, but I've started to notice now that I am having quite a bit of dry, you know, my lips are quite dry and cracked and maybe it's because I'm going into the winter now, but I am looking forward to actually having the injections done so that my lips are sort of soft again. So in terms of recovery time, I am having my lips done tomorrow and then I have four and a half days off before I go back to work. I did time the lip fillers um, alongside a trip that I'm going on to see my sister in London. Hey! And um, I purposely timed the filler just before I went on the trip so that I knew I wouldn't have to be back in work for a while. I did have the lip fillers done last time and went straight into work the next day and I was a wee bit... Uh, scundered slang for like embarrassed because they were really swollen um it wasn't just like oh look at my beautiful lips they're really really big it actually like swole up like all in here and it kind of looked a wee bit ducky and i did have to really really underline my lips and really try to like fiddle with my makeup to make it look like my lips were smaller and I was sort of sitting like this all day. I mean you could definitely get away with it but I just thought next time um, I would try to time it quite well to have you know a few days off work. Um, it does take a good like four or five days for the swelling to go down. In terms of why I wanted to get it done I guess I was just interested to see how it would look. I promised myself I was interviewing for other jobs um, at the time and I said to myself, if I get another job, if I get one of these jobs, I'm going to reward myself by getting my lips done. And my boyfriend said like he really didn't want me to get them done. He thought I would look like totally awful. And I said, well, deal, let's make a deal. If I get this job or I get one of the jobs I'm interviewing for, I get to get my lips done. And then I did get a new job and uh, I, so he couldn't really back out of it. So I did, I mean, not that I needed his permission, but obviously he's an important part of my life and I wanted him to be okay uh, with get me getting my lips done. He does have to look at me every day. So um, I went ahead, got it done, and he actually really, really likes them. And then, you know, he liked them, my friends liked them, um, my family liked them. So um, I think the guy who did them did a nice job and made them still quite natural looking. So that's why I've sort of kept up with, um, you know, going back this time and getting them refilled. I did see the guy who does my lips last week for my Botox. I pointed out that, you know, I have my lip appointment coming up, but there was still two little balls of filler right in the bottom here, um, where he had injected two balls of filler to give my lips shape right here. And then the filler was meant to actually disperse and my body was meant to break it down and then it should have gone smooth. but my body held on to the two little balls right here. So he did inject that with um, Dissolver. Um, there is, it is a type of enzyme. I'll insert the name somewhere on the screen. So I'll then show you footage of me right after I've had my um, filler dissolved in this area. So my lips are just slightly swollen. And then what I'll do is I'll cut to straight after I've had it done. So the lips will be significantly swollen and then I'll show you footage once everything's settled down in about a week's time after the appointment. But anyway, I'll see you soon. So I am just back from having my Botox done. Whilst I was there, I did mention that I had two little lumps in my lips and I just noticed whenever I sort of s smiled quite widely and made my lips quite taut that uh, you could see the little lumps um, or if I was wearing a certain kind of lipstick that um, the little lump would like catch the light. I did mention it and he said, right, well that shouldn't be there. It should have really dissipated. So he used um, a dissolver and he injected three times. So he injected on this side, this side, and then again, sort of in the middle, but more to the left. So to really target that large lump. And it was pretty painful, I have to be honest. I think it was probably worse than the filler because the filler you know the filler's painful but I feel like it goes in just underneath the surface whereas the 
whenever he was injecting the dissolver, it felt like he had to go in a bit deeper. I'm not sure if that was just me. Maybe he went in the same depth as the filler, but it felt to me like it w the needle went in a bit deeper. Um, but there was only three injections, so that was fine. Um, my lips are a little bit swollen afterwards, so I will give you a close up. So basically I should start to notice a difference by tomorrow. Um, he told me to text him if I don't notice a difference and then he might put more of the um, dissolver in. Um, if I do need more of the dissolver in, I'm gonna go in on Thursday. So it's currently Tuesday night. He said if I need more to go in on Thursday, he'll top it up a wee bit. And then I am getting my filler then topped up um, next Thursday. So that should leave me then a full week um, between having my dissolver and then having my filler done again. My lips are quite swollen at the minute, but even if I make my lip quite taut, I think the, the lumps have gone down. So I will insert a before picture of what the lumps look like and then show you it now. So I do think even with the swelling, um, the lumps have started to go down. So I'm hopeful that they'll be sort of completely gone by next Thursday and then I'll be able to just uh, top up my filler again. But um, in terms of people say that the enzyme is quite burny, um, I didn't honestly have to have that much because I was only targeting this specific area. So it's just, my lips are tender, but I think that's like simply because they've been injected. I don't think there's any sort of burning from the actual enzyme in my lips. But I did ask my guy if he's ever had a client of his who had their entire lip filler dissolved. He said he hasn't, but he knows someone who went to someone else and then they had to get their entire lips dissolved. And he said that they found it quite burny. So um, just to keep that in mind, if uh, you are potentially going to have any dissolver done, Okay, so I'm back. I have just had my lip fillers done today. I've left it a few hours just to film this because I did have the dental injections done so I literally could not feel my face and I was like slurring because I couldn't move my lips properly. I was like dribbling. <laughs> um, so I thought I would wait a few hours for the local anaesthetic to wear off and film this. Um, my lips were swollen just after I had it done but they have swollen up quite a lot. Um, these last few hours um, so they now are even bigger. This is probably the biggest they will get um, And then they will start to go down from here over the next few days. I will go ahead and give you a real good close-up of them So this is them he did go ahead and take off my makeup on the lower half of my face so I don't have much makeup on but they are very very swollen. They will not look like this once they um, settle down and heal and you can see that the swelling is a bit uneven so they will not look like this once all the swelling goes down. So you can just see that the swelling is very very prominent right here. Most of the filler was put into my top lip so that is why it has swollen up so much but um, I actually think my bottom lip looks okay. It's just my top lip, top lip looks very strange. So in terms of aftercare, I am just going to leave them for 12 hours. I'm not going to put anything on them. He told me categorically don't put any lipstick on, any lip balm, because they will contain bacteria and the little pinholes um, take about six hours for the blood to fully coagulate and um, sort of protect the lip. So um, he said to just give it an extra six hours just in case. So I am just going to um, go ahead and get like a lollipop from the freezer. Or you could even get like a cold like drink like a cold can of coke and just make sure you're sort of wrapping it in something hygienic like a fresh tissue and just i'm going to press it against my lips um for no more than five minutes at a time because i don't want to give myself any kind of freeze burn and then i will just make sure i drink lots of water to help with the healing process um i guess that's it for now my lips are a little bit tender um they weren't sore getting it done because i did have the dental injections so my whole face um in this area was completely numb and um, the one thing I would say is that the dental injections didn't fully work in the corners of my mouth so I did feel a little scratch whenever the needle went in but it was nowhere near as bad as um, whenever I had absolutely no anesthetic and um, it was just a tiny little scratch um, so nothing too painful and then everything in the center like did not hurt whatsoever I literally couldn't feel a thing and um, the dental injections I had just inside my gum 
um, I could feel two sort of I could feel two of the injections and then he probably put more in but by that point I started to sort of freeze up and couldn't feel the rest um, so I did feel two slight pricks on this side same here and then on these two sides on my um, lower lip so the dental injections were far less painful than having my entire lips done with absolutely um, no anaesthetic because that involves involves a lot more um, needle pricks than the dental injections so I'm definitely glad I went for that option I will go ahead and take some painkillers just because they are sort of um, just very tender and sort of they're not if I sit here and don't do anything they're not sore it's just like talking and things um, those make them a wee bit tender so I will take some painkillers and that is pretty much it I will check back in once everything is settled down in about a week's time and I'll see you then Hey guys, so I'm back. It is now a week and a half later and you can see that my lips are now fully healed. I will go ahead and give you a real good close up now. I'm really happy with how they've turned out. I think I got what I wanted, which was a lot more fullness in the middle, especially on this top lip. I wanted it to look more sort of pouty. So he definitely focused a lot of the filler in this top lip right in the center and then he kind of just spread it out across the bottom because I had quite a large bottom lip anyway. So I'm happy with the look I've got. I don't think I'll go any bigger. I am happy with the look I've got. They're not sort of immediately obvious to someone who wouldn't know me. Obviously my friends and people that see me before I had my lip fillers have noticed that my lips are a lot bigger. But to someone who hadn't met me before they wouldn't look at me and think gosh she's had a lot of lip filler put in you know so I'm happy with the natural pout that I've achieved I definitely am going to go for the dental injections going forward I said to the guy who does it am I such a weakling like you know am I such a wimp and he was like no it's actually it is quite sore and people usually do find it quite sore so I'm willing to pay the extra money just to not feel that pain although apparently it can give you a bit of extra swelling but I didn't really have that it sort of swole up the same as last time so anyway that is it for this video I hope you find it helpful and informative if you're thinking of having your lips filled please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and don't forget to hit the little notification bell which means you'll receive a notification every time I upload. Leave a little comment down below of any other videos you would like to see from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!